I am Emma Davidson. I am Fashion Features Editor of DaysDigital.com, where my role involves coming up with features. Surprise. Um, I tried and tried to track down a copy of the new magazine, the spring-summer issue that came together just as we were going into lockdown, but unfortunately nowhere around me, or at least within my one, one hour's government mandated walk, um, would allow me to go collect. So unfortunately I don't have an issue to show you. Um, what I can tell you is uh, Billie Eilish is on the cover, um, shot by Harmony Corinne at the start of this year. Um, and there's loads of amazing stories. We spotlight some of the Dazed 100 um, that just launched recently and we talk to various different communities, uh, the TikTok hype house. Um, yeah, and there's obviously plenty of fashion stories. Um, so yeah, so what have I been doing at the magazine? Uh, God, things that stand out recently that I've really enjoyed doing. Um, I commissioned a piece on the Cottagecore community, uh, which is a little subsection of TikTok where teens are kind of going after this like pastoral life. Um, some people have called it like Tumblr 2.0, but there's kind of a bit more to it than that. Um, it was kind of interesting, like dipping into this like kind of blossoming subculture. Um, personally, I wrote a piece, I interviewed Ariane Phillips about um, the costumes from the cult movie Tank Girl, which came out 20, 25 years ago. Um, and she told me that, um, well I got a bit of a scoop basically, she told me that her friend had helped her with some of the costumes and that friend was a young Rick Owens, it was about a year before he'd actually started his label, so yeah, back in the day. Um, what else have we been doing? So, uh, we spotlighted uh, some CSM students recently, a really nice portrait series by an Instagram account uh, we called the, the Central St. Martin's School Spy, um, who goes around and takes pictures of like what's going on there and posts, posts them on a dedicated Instagram. But they did a portrait series, like take snapshots of people that have kind of roamed the school's halls. Um, which is really cool and it was like nice to hear from the students and like what they're doing in, in isolation um, because a lot of them won't be doing their like final show. Um, yeah, we've just launched a Days 100 like I said. Um, it was kind of different this year in that everyone that is part of it, the 100 creatives, um, have all kind of laid out plans for a project. Uh, they've they submitted a manifesto for a project that they'd like to undertake where they awarded um, an amount of money that we're kind of taking from this like grant pot. Um, and there was everything from people wanted to make films about their community or they wanted they wanted to put it towards like the the blossoming brand um, or there was loads of ideas. Um, aside from that, we have also recently, um, which is a big team effort, we also recently launched our Alone Together campaign, which was like, usually a, a campaign takes maybe a month, over a month to like get together. Um, this one took a week. Um, it was basically a response to going into lockdown and COVID-19 um, as a way to make our readers feel connected and not quite so alone in this like weird time. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of working through the pandemic, I am obviously like quite lucky, well very lucky, to be working from home. Um, it's as busy as ever, we are working away and I think doing some really, really good work across the whole site, not just fashion. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm still getting out for walks and things, I'm going for my government allowed one hour a day, although that's gone up last night, although who knows what will happen there. Um, I, but yeah, I obviously am looking forward to the end of lockdown when I get out. I, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like looking through old Instagram photos or old photos that are on my phone, um, at like really nice places I've been across the course of the last few years, like as people have been posting throwback pictures. And I was like, actually, I mean, I'd love to go sit on the beach for a week or like whatever and just like basically do nothing, read books and listen to music and probably drink a few cocktails. But actually the only place I really, really want to go is back up north um, to Yorkshire where my best friend is and I want to sit in her garden in the sun, drink quite a lot of alcohol and just talk rubbish for hours on end. 
so yeah that's what I'm like most looking forward to when we come out of this um yeah so thank you for having me and it was great yeah bye